jailbreaking the Amazon Fi TV stick. Is it legal and is it safe? So today we're gonna to jump into the details. I know for folks that's been cutting the cord for a while, you probably have the information that you need, but for new folks that's just buying a Fire TV stick, Google device that may wanna get into jailbreaking, let's jump into some of the legal ramifications as well as best practices while jailbreaking your device. So we're gonna jump right into it. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Let's go. So first of all, let's go ahead and jump into a definition of jailbreaking. So jailbreaking, side loading is the same thing essentially when it comes to your streaming devices. All you're doing is changing a setting on your device that allows you to do certain things. So the definition is the process of bypassing restrictions of electronic device, in this case it's gonna be the Fire TV stick, in order to install software other than what the manufacturer has made available for that device. Now. Jailbreaking does allow the owner of the device to gain full access of the operating system as well as all of the device features. So you don't need to make changes to the file system for jailbreaking your Amazon Fire TV device. All you need to do is change your Fire Stick settings to remove Amazon's restriction. So by default, you're only allowed to install applications that's in your Amazon store. So these are Amazon approved apps, but by changing the default settings, now you can install third-party applications or cause the Fire Stick is built on Android, you are allowed to install APKs. So therefore, jailbreaking your Fire TV stick simply means enabling sideloading or installing third-party software and does not really count as a real jailbreak. So for us YouTubers, streamers, when you see jailbreaking, when we use it synonymously with sideloading, it's just because it's a term that's understood by the wider audience, guys, plain and simple. So on to the next question, what can a jailbroken Fire TV stick do. With the jailbroken Fire TV stick, we mentioned this a little bit, you can install third-party applications, whatever that means. So um, not all apps are gonna be available inside the Amazon App Store. So what you'll be able to do is turn on a setting. Um, in this case, you have to go to developer options, turn on unknown apps. Then you can use apps like Downloader. You can use some browsers. You can use a USB drive to get applications from a different source. So whether it's from the internet, whether it's an app that you save, not all of these apps have to be streaming applications, guys. Some apps are just not in the app store that you just wanna use, some are utilities. The vast majority of folks will probably use this to get streaming applications. And again, these apps are not sanctioned by Amazon, so they probably view it as being unsafe. So on to the next question, is it safe to jailbreak an Amazon Fire TV stick? And for me, it depends how you use it. So it is safe to jailbreak your Fire TV stick because you only install some apps on it without making any changes to the file system. Unlike when you root an Android phone or jailbreaking iPhones where you change the entire file system, you're not essentially changing the original programming of the Fire TV stick. However, you should be careful about the apps that you install on your device. Definitely, this is something I can test to. You wanna go to a trusted source. Remember that these apps are gonna be altered, so that leaves it open to malicious programming, malicious software, viruses, malware, whatever the case is, to track your data. So you wanna be careful and just make sure you know where you're getting it from and, and that it's a trusted source. Is jailbreaking a Fire TV stick illegal. So jailbreaking a Fire TV stick is absolutely 100% legal, guys, because you're only siloing applications of your choice. So as the owner of the device, you can install apps that are not offered by Amazon. However, this is where this gray area comes in. Jailbreaking a Fire TV stick is only legal as long as you're not doing anything illegal with it. <laughs> so keep that in mind. If you're jailbreaking the Fire TV stick to obtain or use illegal streams or illegal applications, that's where the legality becomes uh, an issue. That's when it becomes illegal. So jailbreaking itself is not illegal. However, if you're using it to do illegal activities, that's where it becomes illegal. So jailbreaking the Fire TV stick is something you can do by yourself. You can do it in five minutes and I'll go ahead and link a video on the top right right now we can go ahead and just check it out but essentially it's a couple steps you download the app from the app store you change some settings in your fire stick then you can go ahead and continue with the process so before we we wrap this video up another thing that you want to keep in mind if you're deciding a jailbreak is because jailbreaking device unlocks access to unverified applications 
that's not sanctioned by the Amazon store. And these apps can essentially track your usage, track your information. So definitely recommend using a VPN, especially if you jailbreak. And of course, the two VPN services that I use and recommend are in the description. Go ahead and check them out. If you have any additional questions, drop it in the comments. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, smash the notification bell. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.